Hi Blender Artists and welcome once again to uh, Blender TC. In today's tutorial I had a request from uh, Snowfinger regarding grass. So I'm just going to add some grass to this scene and that's what the tutorial is going to be about today. And you're always learning something new and if you follow me right to the end of this tutorial I'll show you something that I only found out the other day and it's remarkable. So let's begin. Right, so what we're going to do is add in a uh, plane. So add in mesh and a plane. And I'm just going to subdivide this by six. Now I'm just sub subdividing it six times just by uh, using my mouse. And what I'm going to do is I go in and out of edit mode by pressing the tab key. And I'm just going to scale this by four just to fill my old viewport. And just normalize this scale by pressing control and A and then rotation and scale. I'll shrink this down because I don't need it and what we're going to do is now add in a particle system. The particle system is going to be our grass particle is going to make up our grass so just add the particle system and as you can see you got the little balls but we don't want them we want the hair. So hit the hair and we're just going to actually change the length of our hair to 0.75 and just because it looks a bit better and a little bit more clearer I was just going to go into a viewport shading but I just think it's easier to see things in this mode sometimes right so we've got the actual source we're going to change this to uh, volume the reason we change it to volume is because if it's a regular shape then it will make the air look a little bit more realistic as it follows your shape the next thing that we're going to actually do change a few things in blender so i'm going to change this to 3000 because i want to uh, no, not 300 3000 because it just gives me a little bit more uh if you uh hairs it gives me a bit more grass if you want though you can actually leave this to 1000 if your computer is running a little bit slow the next thing we will do is actually go into our physics tab so let's go down here and we're looking for our physics tab and there isn't a physics tab and the reason there isn't a physics tab is because we haven't actually clicked this little thing here called advanced so click advance and voila our physics reappears so hit the physics we're going to change this to uh, in fact we're going to leave all this pretty much alone apart from we're going to change the brownie into 0.5 as you can see we've already got something that looks a little bit like grass but uh, it's not very realistic yet. So that's where we start to add some children into the actual scene. So looking at this, we're going to add in a children, some children. So down here, you'll find a little tab called children. Select that. For this tutorial, we're just going to change this to simple. And we're going to actually change this to 50 as In the actual, um, in the render, it's going to be 100 in here just to actually make things work so all we need to do is actually go down here to the kink button which is I recently found and in the kink we're going to change this to braid still not looking a lot like grass so let's just start changing some things I'm going to change the amplitude to minus 0 0.01 because I think this looks quite good so change that and as you can see the grass now goes to a point and the other thing I'm going to change is the frequency I'm just going to make this 1.914 because I just like the look of it so with our grass made but what we need to do is actually add some color to this grass so let's just make it a just a green grass color green and you know how you want your grass to look I'm just going to add that so we've got our green grass but it doesn't look very realistic so let's add a little bit of light just to see if that improves things so go into your world tab here go into your color add in a sky we're just going to keep this at the default that it shows which is this uh, niche but i think it's a little bit bright and false looking because the sun is so bright over there so let's just change that to point one just to actually dull off our sky and as you can see we've actually now got our, our grass and if we were to render this out what you've got is a lovely green grass but there's no color variation whatsoever in it there you go 
So we've got our grass and we're going to actually add a bit of colour to this. So go into shading, change that to our viewport shading and we're just going to add a little bit of colour to this. First of all what we're going to do is add in a colour ramp, so search our AMP like that. So add in the next one which is going to be our noise texture, search noise you see only two come up but we want the noise texture and last but not least we're going to actually put in a texture coordinate oh 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 texture coordinate select the texture coordinate and then we start to join some things up so generated is going to go into vector factor we're going to factor so we're now what we've got is we've got a a grass that we can control this of it doesn't look very real so first of all let's make this into a green colour so select the top colour add a green in and next we'll just add some more colours into here I'll just move this down to here just make it a brown and it opens just give it a little bit of patchiness I'm just going to put that down to the bottom put that close to that and I just think I might Move that down to about there. And if we altered our scale, we'll let this um, minus 0.6, keep it quite low. Change the detail to 15. And I'm going to change this to 0.75. And it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to make this grass a little bit darker because I think it looks a bit more real. Press F12. And there you have it. You've got a simple grass. What I'm going to do is actually show you the actually fantastic thing that I found only recently in Blender. So say you've got a scene here and you've got a statue there or you want to, if there's a pond you want to put in there. Well you don't want grass coming up through the water surface so let's just actually have a look at this. What you've got is a particle effect that's called the comb. So hit the comb and you've got a cut where you can actually wipe out particles. You've got a weight which actually changes the colour of the particles. The puff will puff the particles up. Length lengthens things and of course the you can add airs and you can smooth things out. And there's the comb. We can actually comb them as well. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to get rid of something. So let's say we've got a, this is the edge of a pond. So I'm just getting rid of my particles. And if we went into uh, object mode, as you can see, we've got our grass at the side of our pond. And all we need to do now is go back into this and say we want to actually gain some height on the back of it. So let's just lengthen these. So this is the back of our pond and lengthen them and then puff them out a bit and puff this out a bit this out a bit yeah and maybe comb some over here and quickly and easily it's a bit hard to actually think but you do get used to the actual look of it and if we go back into the actual object mode as you can see our grass has grown there and it's already starting to look more and more realist realistic like that oh, let's just go back in here and you can just keep playing around with this and adding different things to it the mode into it and just generally you can just change your grassy effect and then when you're happy with the result press the render and voila we've made our pond and our little pond and I think you you'll agree that that looks at a distance like a good grass what you can do is hide them with the actual puff and the shrink and all the actual bits and bobs you really do have to play to about with it but that's the thing that makes you an artist in blender so if you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe to my channel and hit that like bye for now